you for visiting this part of our website which is devoted to Captain Eric Brown, often known as Winkle. It's slightly sad that no one from the squadron really realised that we had arguably Britain's greatest pilot amongst our alumni until Christmas Day 2014. Why then? Because he was the 3,000th castaway on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs and he referred to learning to fly as a member of what was then the Edinburgh University Air Unit. You can still pick up that broadcast on BBC iPlayer. Eric was a remarkable man. In spite of great personal courage and remarkable achievements, he was modest and self-effacing, but incredibly tough and disciplined. In this short video we're going to show you some pictures of the sort of aircraft that we used to use as students at Edinburgh UAS, the de Havilland Chipmunk, rather later than Eric. There's also a lunch with Eric and some former members of Edinburgh UAS about 10 months before he died, and some pictures of his memorial service and event at Royal Naval Air Station Yeovilton in July 2016, which was a truly remarkable event. So sit back and enjoy. When Eric was a member of the University Air Unit, he would have been very familiar with this aircraft, the Miles Magister, then the RAF's basic trainer, before moving on to the Gloucester Gauntlet. The air unit operated out of RAF Turnhouse, then quite a small two-runway airfield. Here, Eric amassed about 140 hours of flying whilst doing his degree course and was commissioned as a pilot officer. By the 1960s, Turnhouse had become Edinburgh Airport, with the main runway lengthened to take passenger aircraft such as the Viscount, Vanguard and Trident. The University Air Squadron operated out of the same wartime hangar as the Spitfires and other aircraft that had defended Eastern Scotland. The Chipmunk was designed as an engineering project by apprentices at de Havilland, Canada and first flew in May 1946. It soon gained a reputation as a first-rate basic trainer and was adopted as such by the RAF. Although easy to fly, it is quite hard to fly well as its lightness and responsiveness means that it moves with the air currents around it. Let's go for a flight.
speaking? Sadly, Eric died on the 21st of February 2016. The 21st of the month had an uncanny resonance throughout his life when all sorts of things happened. His memorial event was held at RNAS Yeovilton alongside the Fleet Air Arm Museum on the 21st of July, exactly five months after his death. Eric would have flown virtually all the aircraft on display except Concorde. Over 700 guests were invited to the event, organised by the Fly Navy Heritage Trust, including Eric's son Glenn, Prince Andrew, the past and present First Sea Lords, and anyone who is anyone in the Royal Navy and World of Aviation.
in, uh, in Norway earlier this year. And Because to the right and slightly behind him is the observer's 